Here is another proportionality question. Okay, so there are just some important things first. They have told us in the question that AG, okay, so that from A to G is 2 centimeters. Then they tell us that BC, which is over here, to AB, which is this whole length from here to here, is 2 to 3. But that, that's a ratio, so that's why I've used X's over there. Now the question asks us to find GF, so always start at the question. So what you've got to go look for is a triangle that has GF in it, but you want GF to be one of the parts next to the parallel lines. You want GF to be here, 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 or here, or it could be the full length, or the full length. So if you look in this triangle over here, we can see that GF is a part of that triangle. So we can use the following ratio. And oh, by the way, in that green triangle on that side next to GF, we already know what AG is. So we should use that. So we can say in triangle, G, D, A, we know the following. We can say that GF over AG. The reason I used AG is because I, I know AG. I'm not going to say over AF because I don't know AF and we want to have as little unknowns as possible. That's going to be the same. Well, GF matches ED and AG matches AD. Can you see in that triangle? The whole of AG matches with the whole of AD. It's like if this over this will be the same as this one and this one. Let's fill in whatever we have. So, oh, and the reason for that, sorry, was prop theorem because of the fact that GD was parallel to EF. Those two green lines are parallel. So we can say GF over AG. Now, AG, they told us, is two centimeters. ED and AD, unfortunately, we have nothing. We don't have any information about them just yet. But at least now we have a roadmap. We know that we need to now go and find ED and AD. So the next goal of this question is to find ED over AD. So we look inside a different triangle now. So we can see in this triangle over here, we have ED and then AD is the full length. Well, that's going to complete, ED is going to match BC and then AD is going to match CA. So can you see that triangle? It sort of looks like this and we're saying that this one divided by the full length is the same as this one divided by the full length. So we can say that ED over AD is going to be the same as BC over AC. Now BC we know is 2x and AC, well AC we don't know, but we know that AB is 3x and we know that BC is 2x. So the whole of AC would then be 5x. Those x's would cancel and so you're left with 2 over 5. So ED over AD is 2 over 5. Oh, and we should have said prop theorem over here. And the reason for that is that the parallel lines of CD is parallel to EB. So notice it's a brand new triangle with its own parallel lines. The nice thing is though is we now have ED over AD so we can substitute it back over here. So we can say that GF over 2 is equal to 2 over 5. So if you do cross multiplying, we'll get GF is equal to 4 over 5.